Hey, I'm Ryan with GM Next here with Street Fire. We're at the GM Heritage Center hanging out right before the Woodward Dream Cruise. Let's go inside and take a look at GM's collection of cars from the new, the old, and everything in between. So the GM Heritage Collection consists of 600 plus cars spread out around the world. 200 of the very finest are here in Detroit at the Heritage Center. Everything from classic concept cars to new concept cars, pace cars, first run production cars, last models of a, of a line of vehicles, and even some classic recreational vehicles, and some GM buses, stuff that you don't see anywhere else. It's an awesome place. A lot in the news about alternative propulsion, alternative fuels, nothing new to GM. This is a 1966 Electro Ver 2. And if you think this thing is funky looking on the outside, take a look inside. This is actually powered by a hydrogen fuel cell. Science fiction circa 1960s right here. Some brilliant thinking coming out of brilliant minds decades ago on what alternative fuels could be. doesn't love Corvettes and here at the Heritage Center they got a ton of them. Right here 1953 Corvette, really the first of the breed, what started the entire Corvette lineage, the Corvette history. Moving along to the 1960 Corvette, got dual headlights on this one, really when Corvette kind of moved into its own as a true performance car. And again the Heritage Center got everything from classic cars to new cars. So this is actually the first built of the current generation C6 Corvette. Then you move in and we're talking about experimental Corvettes. This is actually an aluminum body Corvette built by Reynolds in 1974. Then we continue along with more Corvette concepts. I mean, these are the Corvettes that you really didn't ever see on the street. You only saw at the auto show. Corvette Indy right here. A really a, a breakthrough design that really captured everything that was cool in the 80s. And then moving along into some modified C5s and what has become the pinnacle of Corvette racing. This is a C5R Corvette race car, the little brother to the current C6R that races in the American Le Mans series. And this is a race team that has been dominant since this vehicle's really its inception in 1999 and all the subsequent model changes along. These guys love the car so much that they continue to race it and they continue to win. Fireball V8 right here. Who couldn't forget this engine? Uh, 215 cubic inches, powered a lot of Buicks. Actually, Fireball Roberts, famous NASCAR racer from the 50s and 60s, got his name because he raced with this motor. Now, right here at the Heritage Center, you can see we're looking at a lot of different engines. It just shows the variation of powertrains that GM has built over the last 100 years. Everything from the famous North Star 32 valve V8 that's powered Cadillacs over the last 10 years to radial engines. This is a uh, Pratt & Whitney double wasp engine circa 1939. Now this was developed by Pratt & Whitney but also then built by General Motors during the war era. Move along to Cadillac engines. 5.7 liter LT5. This is one of my absolute most favorite engines right here. Powered the 1990, 91, 92 Corvette ZR1, the original king of the hill. Just a monster. So much power that this car actually had a valet switch that cut the power from 400 horsepower to 200 horsepower so the valets didn't smoke all the tires. Now this is a 1961 Mako Shark Corvette concept. Now this car is a really, really interesting story. It was inspired by a Mako Shark that was actually caught off the coast of Florida by ex-director of GM Styling, Bill Mitchell. Very famous for really setting the tone for GM Styling in the 50s and 60s, a glamorous area for GM. A really special car and something that GM is really proud to have in their heritage collection. 